Our senior design team was with the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank, and we focused on bringing produce to people. The Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is a nonprofit organization founded in 1980 that provides food aid services to southwestern Pennsylvania. Their main headquarters is located in Duquesne, PA, at a 94,000 square foot distribution center that is responsible for distributing 27 million pounds of food per year. The Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank directly distributes food to pantries within the Pittsburgh area and also to partner distribution organizations who then distribute to their own food agencies. The Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank lacks a method to efficiently allocate produce and anticipate demand to the various locations. Without the utilization of an effective system, an increase of supplies will result in wasted produce due to spoilage. To gain a better understanding of the current process, we constructed a process map which illustrates how produce gets to our end customer. From this visual tool, it became apparent that we need to reach out to our end customer, the agency served by the PDOs, to understand the current demand of the system. We conducted a 10-question survey and attempted to contact 174 agencies, asking them questions about their demand and variability. Using the data collected, we created two models. One would be for allocation purposes, where knowing that a shipment would be arriving at the food bank, a user would put in information about the food that was contained and allocate it to the appropriate PDO based off of the date and determine the total amount of food to assign to each location. This thought process can also be reversed in order to determine how much produce to purchase. So by assigning a date range in which they want to order, they can determine the total number of individuals that would need food at that time and calculate the number of food to purchase in various quantities. This model will allocate food to a particular PDO based on two things. One is the agency's dates being within two days of the shipment date, which is a user input, as well as the highest demand at each PDO. The user will also input the cases and servings per cases that come in on a particular shipment for a particular food. Over here you will see the preferences for each PDO, and this is where a PDO can have the opportunity to say whether or not they want a particular food. From here you will run the model and an output would be delivered and this will give you the highest ranking PDO that you would want to ship to and then the next is Washington. If a particular food was preferenced as a no then that means that that food item will not show up in the output. The food bank can take these packs and pallets as a number of what they need in order to ship it to these, this PDO. The other way in which the thought process can work is instead of having a shipment arrive, the food bank may want to know what they would order for a given time period. So using the two blue fields for the start date and the end date, we can enter in a range of, hypothetically, within the next month, how much food they would like to order. So going from 12-1 to 12-31, what this model does is it calculates the number of individuals in each of the various PDOs that have to receive food for that month. In these columns here, the food bank would be able to say whether they would like to send apples to that location, if that is a preference that they have, or if it is a food such as cantaloupe within the winter months that may not be able to be sent at this time of year, they can leave that box blank and that food wouldn't be calculated. So using the various preferences and the number of individuals, it'll calculate the servings of food and in the order quantities that the food bank would order them in, whether that is in pounds, heads, or a various pound bag. From there, it can apply a conversion to determine how many packs that is to order or how many pallets it is to order. This allows them to be able to um, know exactly how much space would be occupied whenever something would comes in and how many items they should be ordering.
To ensure an effective model, we suggest that the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank continues the data collection we began, with the, with the most important being the number of individuals and households each agency serves, number of volunteers each agency has, and whether or not the agency can handle produce in bulk. We also believe it would be beneficial for the food bank to push for a standardization of distribution calculations and units among the PDOs. This means that they, would, they should encourage the PDOs to distribute strictly based off of individuals or use a consistent household metric. To conclude the implementation plan, the food bank should trial both of the models we have provided them. We suggest the trials are completed only using the demand from one PDO. This will allow the food bank to have a baseline to start with. By creating these two models and developing some, such an implementation plan, we believe that we are satisfying the requirement of helping the food bank more efficiently allocate its produce. Bum 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 b